our next guest is Alicia. Please welcome Alicia to the show. Welcome, Alicia. She's here to confront her Aunt Bertha, who has been on our show before. Bertha said that black men are lazy and manipulative. Uh, let's see Bertha in action before we talk to uh, Alicia about this. Take a look. Uh, what are you, aren't you a manager or something? Yeah. You manage people. That yeah. means your opinions could stop a black man from getting ahead because you think uh -huh. they will be a bad employee. That's wrong. Again, that's and is that's that discrimination. My problem? It is your problem. It's their problem. It's no. his problem. It's my problem. Because you're giving up on all black men and going to a white man. I don't want them around me. But and I'm not going, to a, like I'm not going to a white man. This is my husband of three years. Yes. I don't deal with black men in general. If I even call on the bill and I hear that it's a black man, I'm hanging up the phone and I'm calling right back to try to get somebody else. I don't want to be prejudiced against black men, but I do realize what it's doing to me, so yes, I want to try to change it. Ah, we love Bertha around here, I must say. This will be her third appearance on our show. Um, Alicia, what happened after Bertha appeared on the show? Well, it was very crazy. Me and my family watched the show and friends, and we were very embarrassed by what she had to say about African-American men and um, she does not want me dating black men and I do and I'm here just to tell her to stop trying to push her views on me um, because I'm going to continue dating black men. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did you have any idea that your aunt thought this way? I had an idea that she thought this way. As I, I, mean, as I was growing up, she um, told me don't date black men. Um, they'll hurt you. Like she said, they're manipulative, they're liars, they don't work, um, they're not trustworthy. Now, you didn't expect that your Aunt Bertha would, I mean, d let me ask you this, did it ever bother you to know that this is your aunt, you love her, she's a black woman, and all she's doing is telling you bad things, negative things about it bothers, black guys? It bothers me. I think she thinks that I'm dumb. Did I know it she change loves your me. view as a I young person? I know she loves me, but I think she thinks I'm dumb, I'm stupid. Um, because I choose to date black men, and she thinks I could do a lot better if mm -hmm. I dated white men instead of black men. Okay. Well, when we come back, we're going to meet Alicia's Aunt Bertha and her husband, Larry. Let's get their story. We'll be right back. Bertha around here. Bertha, Bertha, keep it real. Like it or not. Just like these guys here. Um, Alicia, Alicia, honest about your opinions. And that's more than we can say for a lot of sneaky closet racists. <laughs> I don't like those kind of racists. Um, Bertha, so you were here once because you refused to accept any black man. Then you came back around a second time and said you were beginning to open up to the idea. Yeah, and what I said was because of you. Remember that. Yes, because of me and my one of my and producers your show. in the show. That's right. Um, and open it up. <laughs> we love Bertha around here. And uh, you were going to hire a black man out here? Yeah, I, I did hire him. I work at a, a airline. We make oh. aircraft engines. We've all flown. We don't want to fall out the sky. Yeah, that's right. We have random drug testing there. We needed four mechanics badly. I was waiting for the faxes to come through. When their fax came through, I'm like, whoa, OK, call this dude right now. Look at him here. here. I had no idea he was black. And I'm going to tell you the whole story. He came in. Uh, he was black. And I'd asked him to sit out front there. And I went into my office, and I shut the door. I'm a manager over. I'm a manager over this stuff. So I shut the door, and I'm like, oh, he's black, he's black, he's black, he's black, he's black. Mm. Okay? And what helped me was Queen. I don't want to, yeah. Because you told me in one show, I am the person, I'm the type of person to keep you from getting ahead. And I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, okay, fine, I can breathe, I can breathe. So I called them in as rude as let the brother sit out there. So I called him and I hired him right out the back. I had to because of his credentials. He was right there, it was right there. So he was qualified? Overqualified, okay? okay? I was happy to give him because we need people. The drug testing, failed it, mm. okay? He comes in and he tells me it's because he's black, and oh boy, and I'm like, you know, well, they do random. They don't even know what color you are when they drug test you. You know, they didn't see your picture, okay? So what did I do? I go in and I fight for him, and I get another drug test because of you. You don't know how much impact 
I said, okay, Queen's going to get down on me if I don't do this. Okay, so I do have... <laughs> I don't want to go through that. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, that's too much. So what happened? So I, he failed it again. <laughs> he had to go. These guys know when they even get into this business, you are calling for a drug testing. You have to come into our office within a half an hour after the call. Right. So let me ask you a question. Is he the first, is he the first person to ever fail? First black man in a long time. No, is he the first person to fail a drug test at your no. company? No. So, no. so I hope you won't use that as an excuse and I knew, not to. I knew, I was telling the producer, I said, you know, I know she's going to get all over me about that. Unless he was the only person that. that's ever. I and mean, this first thing that set in was like, okay, this is what I was trying to tell Queen. The brothers, you know, so, you know, they shoot themselves in the foot. But no, that's one person. There you go. He shot right. himself okay. in the foot. And he got fired for it. Right. And whose no, loss no. is it? It's not your no, loss, it's his loss. This is because of her. I didn't have this mentality before you'd been out. But now, what about your niece here? Because your niece is like... You, I love her. You've She's been my kinda, niece. And she I used loves to change her diapers. But you've been kind of <laughs> pushing that And I don't that, want her hurt anymore. Are. are you going to tell her that it's okay to date whoever I've she cares I've already told for? her what time it is. She knows. Over and over again. Look have you seen a change a in your girl? Eye? Have you seen any of uh, any of a change? She definitely is. I just want her to be happy. That's all. And I know you want me happy, but I am happy, and I am dating someone that is black, and he treats me right. Now. He, now he treats me right. I'm well taken care of, and um, he cares about me. I care about him, and everything's good. He doesn't abuse me in any way. So I want you to be proud of me. And I am proud of you, even without him. That's not even. He has nothing to do with it. Yeah. It's you, you know. That's what the problem is. I want you to have what right. you what you deserve. Right. I just want you to know that you can find happiness in in a black in man. In a black man. In a black man. <laughs> She's come a long way, y'all. You have to understand this. <laughs> I know. I know it seems weird, but that's why you gotta watch the show and keep up on things. Just to hear this stuff come out of Bertha's mouth is is like amazing. But and it's still hard because it's like you know there's. You know, there's John and Warren there who, like, love for somebody. I mean, they li probably thrive on you kicking your own kind. They do this all day. This is what they feel. I was feel. listening to him out like, back. he is, he hates I never, you guys. I was listening to no, him. I don't like what you guys He's hating you and Larry say. right now. I don't like, like what you guys Larry, say. Larry, this is the guy. Not the, like remember it. the black guys? Remember at first Bertha was talking about the black guys <laughs> that would give you guys a problem? Here's a white guy that if you walked into the club where he was, would really just open his mouth and get real rude and nasty. The same not thing. Not every you. time. Not every time oh. we went to a club. Oh. Enough, enough times that he got him and Bill banned from clubs. You want to get to a fight with this guy because he would open his mouth and say something real rude and you. Oh, they probably be catch a beat down with him. Huh. <laughs> Bertha, I think you got it coming. I don't know. I think Bertha got it. No, this got his back. That's right, Larry. Larry with it. Watch out for each other. That's right. That's right. So, uh, you okay over there, Warren? Ain't been better. Warren's holding it down. So you gonna let your niece, you gonna give your niece a break uh, as far as your views go and just let trust that she can make her own decisions? She's a grown woman, but you know what the deal is? I was there when she was born. You know, I've changed as many diapers as her mom has, and I love her. I love it's her like my, you know, like I love my daughter. Right. It's very difficult. Right, right. I've seen what she's gone through, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing her hurt. Yeah, Larry, you so, even think that she should open up to dating a white guy, right, Larry? People can date whoever they like to date. Do you date uh, black men exclusively, or you just date whoever you feel? I date black men exclusively. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Bertha's like, no, go get you a good yeah. white guy, man. Well, the opportunity really hasn't came up for me. Right. So. White guys can treat the women just as bad as the black guys can treat or the women. Or just as good, for that yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the way I see it. I mean...